All right, uh, so we got a tie between um, Combat Mastery and Pyromancy. I think I'm going to give the Mage a run. Yep. Pyromancer is Jonah, so? it is. Interesting. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. I'm going to change the stream name just once. I just want to set the world on fire. Pyro. Joke now. So he. Uh you can also ask the innkeeper about local events. All right. Enchantment scroll, right. That's quite nice. That's with nice stuff, Jonah. Yoink. All right, let's see here. Uh, Prince Dodge Energy Restoration plus one percent noise barriers. Okay, let's keep the nice cloak then. But we'll keep this uh, apprentice cowl. It's actually better for mages. Ah, zut, c'est reparti, mon kiki. God damn it. Never lucky, man. Died on the first stream. Never reach maturity. Oh, I wanted to, damn it, I wanted to drop that off. All right, let's drop it off. Our, our carrying capacity is so limited in the game that you don't want to carry useless stuff. Uh, that we're gonna eat and sell all of this. Hopefully we'll want, we'll find the witch's hut first, like we did with uh, Staff Monk Derwin. That'd be nice, finding the witch's hat and staff early. Good loot. Yep. <laughs> All right, I start with uh, carpenter. It's fine. And soon we're going to be able to murder all the peasants in Osbrook. Not that it's something I ever wanted to do, really, but I guess it's nice to have options. Question mark. Let's see. Oops. I want to sell that to him, but that's fine. That goes to the uh, herbalist. Like, that's a pretty nice first selection. Exquisite mantle and everything. 
Now us, we won't get much out of this. Uh, it'd be good to replace those pointy shoes eventually, though. Tanned boots, those are the good ones. You know, do we buy the tanned boots now? Two protection, man. Bleed resist. Yep. Because the pointy shoes have such low durability that just walking around, they will fall apart. <laughs> okay, we need to make money though. We're barely gonna, we're barely gonna scrape by when it comes to supplies and whatnot. Let's sell uh, Stardust. Sell the dreads. Okay, let me get one of that. Okay, grab the essentials. When it comes to meds. Let's put it down here in the corner for now. Oh, I bought one too many of the healing cell, but that's okay. I started with one. See if there's anything upstairs for loot. Good for the blacksmith. Not even the kind of ring we want, but it's fine. Uh, let's hold off on buying another lockpick set for now. Yeah. We're just about set. Time to go pick some herbs. Dangerous herbs. Oh, perfect. There's an opening right here. Might be able to do that one in record time. And we should definitely look around these locations to see if there's the witch's hut. The wart. I get the feeling that uh, Pyromancer Jonah is our best bet to actually win the game when it comes to difficulty. But you know, there's a little bit of luck involved. Quite a bit of luck involved. All right, three of the four herbs. Just need agrabony and we're good. And actually we can find it next to the mill. I know a place where it spawns fixed. There we go. Quest complete. Easy money. Wait. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get something good when it comes to medicine. It better not be two splints. I'll be angry. I got that once. Uh, uh. Hey, perfect. Nice. Thanks, old man. Okay. Um, since we finished that so quick, we can go inspect these. 
Let's go check the points of interest and hopefully get the Witch's Hut early. It'd be cool to get it at level 1, you know. And we did good on the herb quest, but we didn't get a, like, did we even get XP from that? Yeah, we got zero XP right now. Straight up, yep. Boop, boop, boop. Take some practice to remember the Pyromancer style. Every character plays a little bit differently depending on their build. Hey, there we go. Eventually, we're going to be doing over 36 damage a pop. Hey, Jeff the Jar, thank you so much for the following. Welcome to the gang. You, a. Uh, Stone Shard fan, my friend. Oop. Ouch. I discovered the game about a month ago, been addicted ever since. <laughs> yep. This game is gonna be amazing. It already is pretty darn amazing. But with the City of Gold update, it's gonna become, well, just gold. Oops. That's dangerous. Oh. Oh, gotta love that critical hit kill on the fire FX. Oh, nice. Very nice. Just keep kiting him. Let him run for now. Oh, you're more than welcome, Jeff Dejar. I'll be streaming uh, Stone Chart this weekend, and uh, depending on how good the streams go, I'll maybe make it a uh, I'll probably make it a weekend thing every weekend until the release of City of Gold, where then we'll go full time during the work week. Thank you for the uh, plug from our Minister of Propaganda, Rizarin. Okay, let's see if we can't find that guy that ran away. Hopefully he didn't leave the map. There he is. Hide him a little bit. Get away from the edges of the map. No, don't run. Shit. No, oh, he's getting close to the edge of the map. Okay, let's just wait here and hopefully he won't leave the edge. Yeah, I think he left. Damn it! Messed it up. Should have uh, pulled him more towards the center of the map. Alright, let's go see uh, this spot. Oh, 
aren't they're not blueberries, but they'll do. Oh, jeez, wasn't looking. Uh, that went well. Let me see here. Um, abilities. Now, Pyromancy has a lot of skill points to it. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. So it would take just about all of our skill points to max it out. Start with 2 at level 1. And get 1 for each thereafter. 14. Yeah. We can't really invest into other trees than Pyromancy if we want to go full-time Pyromancer. Sorry if it's dark chat. Okay, so I think we're here now. I think it's one more. One more to the left, and then we'll hit up the next POI. Unfortunately, I don't think the um, I don't think the City of Gold update is going to be releasing uh, that soon, though. Ooh. Oh, I think the bear didn't see us. And set to the center of the map, see what's up. Ooh. Excuse me? What? Okay. Cough up the money, chump. <laughs> Man, there's like four bandits here. This guy's gonna hurt. Ouch. Oh shit, I'm out of energy. Okay, we're good. rest until morning oh well, it's a little bit uh less dark on <laughs> on stream better all right unfortunately there was no pois around here 
still haven't leveled up. The grind has been a little bit difficult. That's another thing. I feel like we could do with a little bit more... I feel like the progression of the game could make do with a little bit more balance. Because with the release of new features to the games, there's more and more skills that you need to invest into. But you don't gain more skill points. Now we're here. You know what? Let's go, let's go to the chapel just on the outside and uh, loot the corpses that are outside. Might find something good. What was that? Is there an animal there? No, there was a bird. But what? There's something else. Ooh. The hell was that? I think it was maybe a wolf running after a deer or something. Nice. Interesting. Uh oh. Uh, hopefully, I won't lose my internet connection from that chat. I think I just had an, a power flicker. Something's up with the power grid here, I swear. And that's it. Yep. Get out of here. Don't think we'll get that much money from these things. They're really beat up. Get a little bit of money. Nothing for us in that. <sighs> Hopefully. I'm just hoping the witch's hut isn't like on this side of the map. Follow the road all the way back into Osbrook. Taken on a boar. Excuse me? Yeah, some berries act a bit weird. I need that many uh, be worked. Hmm. 
wolves is a bit much as well. I'm not sure, but I think only one of the two saw us. Mm, let's not risk it. Oh boy. That level one mage feeling, am I right? Like, please don't squish me. <laughs> Careful not to be in range of the wolves. Nice. Some good loot. Mm, let's not tempt fate. Let's get out of here. Yeah, an overhaul, uh, an overhaul for the travel and zones would be really good. There's still much room for improvement in the game, but the potential is immeasurable. And the pixel art is A1. I'm not much for pixel art usually, but this is uh, beautiful. Alright, I'm 48 for that. Okay. I gave a little bit of gold for that. Nice. Also pay full price for that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, what else do we have? Uh, this. Oh, wait, how much would he pay for the sheath? He pays 48. How much does this guy pay? Gotta be careful what you sell to who. 48, same thing. <laughs> Definitely looking forward to save on exit. Yeah, I feel you. And we really have to keep an eye open for Pyro 2 as a book. So if we see it, we should like uh, prioritize it, essentially. Okay. F2, that won't be useful anytime soon. Uh, I might save scum and enchantment on her boots. We'll see. Twenty four hundred for the exquisite mantle, but it is quite nice. Magic power plus 20%. Uh, we need a belt. What is the belt we want to go for? I think it's the luxurious belt or the um, red sash. I forget which one. It's not these anyway, so let's not waste our money. I wonder how much I'll get for this dinghy crossbow. It's a practice crossbow, so it's not going to be worth much. Wow, four gold, chat. Four gold. Let's go. Ooh, that's nice, the monk staff. Wait, did the monk staff change appearance? No, the other one was the pilgrim staff. That's why I'm getting them confused. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might actually keep the rabbit meat for us. Yeah, we'll cook it and keep it. That's nice. Very nice. Well, not much else to do here. Let's keep scouting those POIs. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's hit up these two now. Let's see, one, two, so. Cross. All right. We can um, pretty much scrounge up what we need on the way, and we have a bit of spare food. Blueberries. Wonder if I could summon Fab by eating blueberries. Sometimes it works. For those that are new in chat, the uh, blueberries are a bit of a meme on the channel. So much so that we have an emoji for it. Huh? Ah, and it feels good to play a game that I could go uh, off screen without it pausing or uh, tapping off. Huge plus. Mm -mm. Is it just you? No, you got a friend. You got a friend in me. You got a firebolt in your face. Okay, it didn't make me bleed. Cool. Very nice. Okay, so um, one perception, one willpower, then we'll bring up perception to 15 to increase the, our range by one, and then we'll just be dumping into vitality, uh, willpower, maybe a little bit of vitality. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and uh, eat the flames. Uh, what does this do again? When a bolt from fire barrage connects with burning enemy, the duration of burning is prolonged by one turn. Yeah. Also gives us more pyromantic power and accuracy. And by me. When you're a mage, don't forget to rest to get your energy back. Who was our greatest character on the channel? Was it Arna with the two-handed sword or was it Jonah with the pyromancy build? Hard to say. They were both amazing. Nom 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 nom. Um... Kind of lost track of where we are, to be honest. I think that we head left from here. Because, yeah, there's no crossroads. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, one, two, three. To the, to the west. Girlfriend's cooking croissants, and it's making me hungry, chat.
Uh, is it one more to the west? I think so, maybe. We'll see. If we see the edge of the map, we know we overshot it. Yeah, we overshot it. Damn it. And uh, we have to eat this cheese. Want to wait until we're hungry enough? Test the cheese. Hmm. How far am I from the edge here? Am I too high, maybe? No, I might be too low. Maybe I'm just at the wrong elevation. Should be here. We didn't hit the woods here, which means unless we overshot uh, one to the south as well, it's possible. Let's head up one and see what's there. My intuit direction never fails. This woods? Maybe we're one too high then. And this is woods, which means we're probably here, so we need to head down too. That's one good way to orient yourself. Look for landmarks such as woods and whatnot. Roads. Because when it's open plains like that, it's easy to get lost. So you just have to like remember in your head where you are. Uh, okay, time for cheese. Fingers crossed. It's the witch's hut, everybody. Whoa! Let's exit the map. Very nice. Burning your enemies to death is thirsty work. Stay hydrated when you're a pyromancer. Hopefully the other guy didn't escape. What? Okay, I'm... Let's just try and find this landmark instead. 
I seem to be uh, off on the map. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Very nice. Okay, that went pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so if that's the bottom, then this should be the landmark. Oh, and there's woods. That's a good sign. Witch's hut. Come on, witch's hut. Oh, it's the leprosarium. Damn it. Now we know where we are on the map, at least. Ooh. Leave that behind. Uh, two days for that. No, oh, shovel isn't bad. Uh, like so, grab the shovel. I think that my last build of uh, Jonah, I was, uh, I was rocking a, uh, a staff and a shovel on my offhand for when I found graves. This is... Yeah, it's not going to work for us. It's not really many character builds that I find this Plague Doctor mask is good for. Hey, it's our boy Benito. It's been a while. How you been, my friend? What have you been up to? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Swinging. Left and right. Left and right. <laughs> Good old Benito. Oops. Yeah, there's always a uh, there's always a staff skill book here, which is good for planning builds. Looks like we're done here. All right, take it easy, uh, Benito. Don't move. Uh, okay, so now we know where we are. So it's two up and then one to the left, and hopefully I just won't overshoot the uh, boi again. Probably, like, just missed it. It's gotta be the witch's hut. It's gotta be. Okay. Oh, we got woods. Come on, which is hut? Which is hut? Which is hut? Project into the universe chat. Project the witch's hut. It's the Hermit's Hut. Oh, gods. Damn it, chat. He didn't project enough. Hey, Noctalia. Good to see you. Are you doing? I love your panda emojis, uh... Octalia. Is that from um, Animal Baru, I think is the name of the streamer?
Ooh. Ooh. That looks painful. Ooh. Barrows, cool. Oh god, girlfriend's making croissants right now and it smells so good. I'm getting hungry. Ooh. I could have been cursed, uh maybe. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Grab that, and for that, let's grab the backpack. And put that, and that. If I remember correctly, I actually rocked the um, the backpack with Jonah for a long time. What is the benefit of this? I think we maybe we will stay with the backpack for a while with Jonah too. We'll see. Until we get like a unless we get it like a unique cloak that's like really good for us, I think we could uh, get away with using the backpack. One, two, three. Okay, let's head back to the road. Hopefully we won't miss a road. We had a little bit of trouble finding that place. I think the occult cloak would be a good one, but it's pretty hard to find. There's not that many cloaks that are all that amazing for Jonah, as I remember, in the game now at least, that you can find. But there is, uh, I think it's, yeah, the vampire one. Uh, that could be pretty good. Pretty good. And the advantage of the backpack, of course, is more loot and meds that you can carry. Because when you're playing a melee character, more often than not, you definitely want the cloak. Definitely for the dodge bonus and whatnot. Uh, but for, uh, like, magic power, there isn't that much. Like, uh, this one uh, has a little bit of energy restoration, but it's 1%. It has a few good resistances, but, like, it's not amazing, you know? Yeah, I've actually never found it. And I did a few runs. Ooh, Batsu. Why is it always when I read chat? Damn it. Okay, this is super dangerous. Am I still level one? No, level two. Wish I had a bear trap right about now. Hmm. Do I just try and run? Two wolves against Jonah could be really nasty. Oh, looks like they've given up. Okay. They could really rip you apart, wolves, uh, when you're early, early level Jonah there. <sighs> Wizards, you know, it's hard for them to survive uh, the early levels. Am I right, uh, Gion-san? Oh, shit, what? Okay. Oh, 
No, not good, not good. Oh god. Oh, I'm stunned. I screwed myself here. If I survive this... Come on, Jonah. Jonah! I refuse. All right, pleb. Oh. Wow. Yeah, but I messed it up too. That was my own fault. Could have uh, performed much, much better. I like how you have uh, the Doom face in this game. I get all bloody. Stay around for the barbecue. Whew. Yeah, that was quite the ambush. I really don't have that much for sale, unfortunately. Sale. Sell that. Uh, the rest will keep. Yeah. The rest is just good supplies. Let's get that ID scroll for our staff. Armor penetration and skill energy cost. Oof. Not the best. I mean, it does sacred damage, which is nice for against the undead. But that is not a very interesting enchantment for us. Uh, let's sell that. Yeah, I'm going to keep the backpack for a little bit, at least until I find an interesting cloak. Now, which belt was it that I wanted? Was it the luxurious belt? Or the mystic belt? What I don't like is the minus 5% unholy resistance, but this has energy fives, spells energy cost, and magic power. Well, this one has less that, more energy restoration, more energy... Spells energy cost minus 5%. Fumble chance plus 1. Health restoration, magic resistance. This one improves magic, magic resistance, which is nothing to scoff at. Energy. Oof. No, between Luxurious and uh, Mystic, it's kind of a tough call. I don't like the plus 1 fumble chance. Peasant hat, how cute. Slightly less magic power. Spell energy cost, minus 5%, is decent, but not amazing either, because minus 5% of like 13, for example, doesn't really count for much. Let's go on magic. Power, power, magic, power. Can we see like energy reduction? Energy restoration? Yeah. Healing efficiency. Hmm. Yeah, unholy damage resistance. Uh, loss is scary for like when you're facing necromancers and whatnot. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the. Uh, just gonna stick with the luxurious belt. Just for my fragile peace of mind. Oh, I have to sell this. So I'm going to sell that. Now I have a bunch of stuff to offload. 
Mostly just stuff that'll help in the long run. This will keep for the quest. Pick up a spare kit of lockpicks. Get rid of that, get rid of that, that. All of this is spare meds. Look at that. Ooh, not this, though. This will this will save our life eventually. Um, I actually with a uh, with another Jonah run. It's also really bad when wraiths show up and looting sar sarcophagus coffins. Yes, fair point, Noctalia. It is quite bad, quite bad indeed. Now, do we save scum in enchantment chat? I got only a few minutes left, so I think that might be a good use of our time. Yep. Okay, let's uh, pay for a room, save, and save scum a enchantment. So do we do the belt or the boots? I think we'll do the belt. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I pick up the scroll. I did not. I hate it when I do that. Let's actually pick it up and save again. I escaped from that with very little HP a lot of times. Yeah, um, when I was doing a two-handed sword at Arna, I really struggled against a Wraith Warrior at one point. That was rough. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, the the belt we may keep uh, just about forever. Who knows? Depends on what we find. Nature resistance isn't the worst because uh, what a lot of people uh, don't know is that nature is uh, elemental magic, essentially. Was off to play some game myself and you already started a new character. Stone Shard does what Stone Shard can do best. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, bleed resistance? Um, I'm kind of on the fence about that one. Uh, no. I want like uh, energy oriented stuff. Energy, either magic resist or energy bonus or energy uh, restoration. Energy restoration. There you go. Now we're up to 6% on this? Or is it 4 plus 6? I think it's... Uh, that's good. I was off to play some game myself. But yeah. Uh, never lucky. Yeah. yeah, let's not spend forever re-rolling enchantments. Uh, I think that's decent. And if we don't like it, well, when, we, uh, when we're richer, we could get away with re-enchanting. All right. Oh boy. Yeah, well, anyway, this is where I'm gonna be leaving the stream uh, a few minutes early, but uh, now is a good spot. I don't wanna start something new. Oh, I have to save again, or I forget. Uh, that's a bad habit in Stone Shard that you forget to save. Still not sure if I play with the big updates or wait for 1.0. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I have half a mind to not do permadeath in my next run and actually try and beat the troll, but uh, I have mixed feelings about it because a lot of the thrill of the game you know what makes my what makes my uh my blood boil is the fact that i'm gonna die for real if i don't <laughs> if i don't win in combat but yeah uh that being said i'm gonna be leaving the stream here i'd like to thank everybody that tuned in welcome to our new follower jeff the jar welcome and uh good to see some familiar faces noctalia always a pleasure and yeah do take care everybody take it easy wash your hands Stay salty, folks. Peace, everybody.